sexual, they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house fucking screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Bashir Gray left that house fucking screaming. August the only one that stayed, and I guess he was really sick. He needed a dog. From being on the path to making thousands of dollars every day to zeroing out on everything by going to jail twice, Bryshear Gray has experienced it all. American actor and rapper Bryshear Yazooan Gray is better known by his stage name, Yaz the Greatest. Yet, he has expanded his status beyond that. Gray is now widely recognized as one of Will Smith's many unfortunate romantic targets. But does Will feel the guilt for any of that? Artists in the world have done some of the best work of their career yeah. and the idea that they might be denied because of me is like according to gray himself his career was going wonderfully until he met will smith at which point it took a turn for the worse and yes it isn't too shocking when you consider will smith's history of relationships with both men and women so when rumors finally began to circulate that the two of them might have fallen in love with each other bryce Shear's career took turns in all the wrong ways of course will and jada pinkett his wife have a highly open relationship in which both of them are comfortable discussing their emotions with members of the other gender so it it doesn't really come off as a surprise if Brayshear was also one of the many men Will was romantically involved with. Here's a sneak peek of that. This is with my man Charlie Mack. So Charlie was with me every First step of the way. Limo. First out the limo. So Charlie has been with me, you know, 30 years coming up in the business. So, you know, he's. You may also not be aware of this, but Jaguar Wright has really discussed this topic on podcasts and YouTube a lot, where she has dissed Will and Jada Pinkett Smith for ruining young artists by initially taking them under their wing for some supposed mentorship program and later on exploiting them in other ways. They're both bisexual. They do weird things in their house. Anyway, Gray's career took a huge plunge after he was involved in this bizarre affair with Will Smith, which led to him finally going under depression and getting diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And honestly, you only need to look at what happened with Diddy to see that Hollywood isn't always sympathetic to relationships that don't fit the typical template. So it should not come as a shock that after whatever transpired with Will Smith, Gray lost his charisma and things began to go from bad to worse for him in the entertainment industry. And we are all aware of how Hollywood may behave at times. Unfortunately, Gray's career took a significant hit when things did not go according to plan. And on top of that, the effect it had on his attitude made things much worse. Even more, it caused him to spiral into burning all the bridges of survival himself. But all was not always this bad for Bryshear Gray. He had quite a journey until finally, he didn't have one anymore. For starters, Gray shot to fame after landing the part of Hakeem Lyon in the critically acclaimed show, Empire. He walked onto the Hollywood scene filled with career ambitions and was met with a world of varied possibilities. Back then, his captivating appearance also attracted a following of fans who were completely charmed by him. Good advice. I got my first acting role, Empire, and it's, it's changing my life. And it's like Even so, there were allegations that he made roughly $20,000 per episode, which just added to the mystery surrounding him. In a way, back then, Bryshear was experiencing the fulfillment of his ambitions at the time, but of course, as we know it, the era ended quickly as a string of scandals unfolded, other than the ones that involved his relationship with Will Smith. Smith. For one, his career took a turn for the worse, as the consequences of his own actions grabbed center stage. And unfortunately, he was never able to get his career back on track. Gray was born on November 28, 1993, in the Germantown neighborhood of Philadelphia, and spent his childhood in the welcoming arms of West Philadelphia. After making his first appearance on stage, his budding interest in music blossomed into an unshakable connection to it. Not too many people know about this, but he worked part-time at Pizza Hut to help pay the bills throughout these crucial years. Remembering this time, he once told Vibe magazine how he wisely invested his first money in making a music video. On top of that, a constant promotional campaign on Facebook, lasting all day and night, was put together by him thanks to his persistent determination. Yet, after being laid off, he found himself with a lot of spare time, so he resolved to devote himself entirely to music production. Down the road, a person named Charlie Mack, who happened to know the star Will Smith, introduced both of them, and well, we know how at least that one goes. Yet apart from what went down between the two in their private time, it also opened the door for him to try out for a role in the upcoming TV show Empire. The decision makers were impressed, and he was flown out to Los Angeles for a proper audition. During this time, he made friends with stars Toronto 
Taraji P. Henson and Terrence Howard. He even addressed a group of high school kids and shared his experience of homelessness before landing the role on Empire. As for his various earlier interviews, he hoped to instill in them the confidence to follow their own aspirations. Yet unexpectedly, he struggled with these concepts later in life. Anyway, the situation changed. Sure, he was successful, yet he still had issues and got into fights. Given even when everything seems to be going smoothly, life may become very confusing. According to reports, he uprooted to California and made a concerted effort to lead a quiet life there. He even stressed the need to maintain a singular focus on one's goals in an interview with the New York Times and expressed how he had trouble focusing on just one thing. But in June of 2019, he was detained by Chicago police. Unfortunately, his very expensive vehicle was discovered to have mismatched license plates and registration. They also found that he was operating a vehicle without either a valid license or insurance. Then again, something else occurred only five months later. He and another man spat on the floor of an Orlando, Florida store while they were shopping together. Seeing this, the employee on duty there called the cops, and well, once again, Breischer knew where he was going to be spending the night. Though after the final episode of Empire aired, everything went downhill for him. An apartment owner in Chicago complained that Breischer and his dog were quite destructive. In July 2020, after a tense few months, Breischer also happened to have had a major altercation with a woman named Candace. According to her, an argument arose after she discovered his phone included messages from other women, where the situation escalated rapidly and the police were called. It took a dedicated team quite some time to finally lure him out of hiding so they could finally arrest him. I need your ID because she's alleging that you're the one. This is, what, this is why we came over here. After I give you my ID. We're going to identify no. who you are and then we'll go from there. Meanwhile, Breischer found himself in the position of having to justify himself. He stated that he had a lot riding on his artistic career and that he had a lot to lose. But when the police questioned him if they were married, he responded that they were kind of like that, but that they also had a relationship in which they could be with other people. On top of that, he explained that because he was so occupied with his work, he had no problem with her having a lover. They only discovered afterward that they had actually tied the knot nine months earlier after the argument that they had. Candace then revealed to the authorities that Breischer suffered from a disease known as bipolar illness in addition to ADHD, yet he was unwilling to take the prescribed medication for it. Moving on, in May of 2021, he admitted to having done something improper and was consequently sentenced to three years of probation and 10 days in a special jail. They warned him that if he did not abstain from specific activities and avoided getting into any further difficulty, he would not be able to avoid being sent back to jail. So, that settles that. After that, in October of 2022, he ran into even more difficulties. There was a brawl at his residence, but the specifics are unclear to us at this point, though the police were called. And then, in November of 2022, a lady reported that she had been dating him in Arizona, but that he had begun behaving more poorly and she feared for her safety as a result. After his probation officer reported these incidents to the judge, the judge ruled that he needed to spend more time in jail. Again, the complete situation regarding that remains unknown at the moment. So whether or not Brashear will ever have a shot at his career, one thing is clear. His turning for the worse started the day he began his alleged relationship with Will Smith. And to make things worse, getting involved in substance misuse and beating up women didn't do him good either. Currently, Brashear remains under custody and has no upcoming projects signed up. That's all for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Guys.